Hello everyone, welcome back to the new episode of my tutorial series on software development. In the previous episode, we have successfully created data access layer for our product module which contains insert, update, delete and select methods for our product module. In this episode, uh, before creating add, update and delete functionality in our product module, we will display all the categories from database to our uh, combo box in our product module. So without further delay, let's move to our tutorial series. <laughs> First of all, we'll need to open our project. For this, I'll go to my project folder that is nstore for me and open our solution file that is nstore.solution and this will open in Visual Studio. And this is our products DL, products BLL, and this is our design for our product form. Now we need to display all the categories we added uh, in our database. Uh, in this combo box category combo box so for this we'll need to create a form load event in product so so that uh, all the categories will appear here as soon as the form loads so select the form go to properties and uh, click on this thunder icon or event icon then select the load event and double click on load event so it will create a form load event for us now here is the thing we are in form products.cs but we will need to use category dal uh, in order to display all the categories from database to our combo box so i will create an object for our category dal so c a t e g o r i s categories d a l c d a l is equals to new categories dal then semicolon and hover over the error and click on show potential fixes and using anister.dl so now error is gone it took a time so now we need to create a data table to hold the data from database so creating data table to hold hold the categories from database so data table i will give if name will be categories dt is equals to cdal cdal dot select will be using select method so this is it now we need to specify the data source for our combo box so cmb categories dot data source is equals to categories dt so this is it now we need to specify let's write comment for this too specify data source for category combo box and now specify specify display member and value member for combo box so cmb category dot display member is equals to we need to type the column name in category table tbl categories let's see the tbl categories so tbl tables and tbl categories so we need to display title so if we want to display id then we need to give id if we want to display title then we need to give title so i'll type title and another one is cmb dot category dot dot value member is equals to title so if it wasn't if our id in products table for category if the category uh, data type for category was integer we should have given id here but we have changed uh, id to uh, varchar so it will be title so this is it guys let's check out if it displays the categories in our uh, combo box or not 
I'll just press Ctrl and S to save and press start to run. So login, admin, admin, and user type will be admin and let's login. Okay, and then go to products. So the categories are already shown here. So this is it, guys. We have successfully displayed the categories uh, from database to our product form so thank you so much for watching if you like this video then don't forget to like and share on social networking sites and don't forget to subscribe and click on bell icon so you will get notified when i upload new videos uh, and if you have any confusion related to this video then don't forget to comment i'll reply as soon as possible so in the next video we'll add actual functionality to add update and delete so till then see you soon bye bye